Hunter Twins. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So I said in my reptile introduction video that my crocodile skin was only in a temporary tank and that is because we are putting her in a bioactive setup. So we have been getting prepared to do that. I went to a, another local nursery. We loved the last one, but we just kind of wanted to look around something different. So we went to a new one. But unfortunately, that nursery did not have small tropical plants like we were looking for. They more specialized in landscaping plants. So I actually went to Walmart and I was grabbing another bag of that organic soil. And I actually found some of the plants that I was looking for. One of them being an umbrella tree, which is super exciting to me because that's one of the things we're actually looking for. And I looked up the other two species. It looks like any kind of Draconia species of plants are okay for crested geckos. So they should be okay for the crocodile skin. So right now I am outside sitting on my patio because since these plants are from Walmart, I don't know what was used on them. So we are going to take them out, clean them really good, repot them in some of the organic potting soil, and we're going to let them sit for a while. And then we will plant them in the tank and we're probably going to end up leaving the tank set up for a little while before we actually put the crocodile skin into it, make sure everything roots and everything. I know that a lot of people do that with all tanks. I never do it for the crusty gecko and garl gecko because they don't really climb on the plants that I put in there, but she is going to be on the ground. So we want to make sure that everything is rooted nicely into the ground and that she's not going to pull any of the plants up and kill them. And while it looks like the Draconia species are all safe for crusty geckos, I don't actually know how they're going to do in a wet environment, but these plants were super cheap because I came from Walmart. So we're going to try them out. I'm excited. So this is just where I'm going to start to clean those plants. First, I'm going to take all the soil out of the roots. We're doing this because I have no idea what kind of fertilizer Walmart uses and certain materials and certain fertilizers aren't okay for animals such as vermiculite, perlite, and any kind of manure. So we're just going to get all of that off without breaking the roots. And then we're just gonna start to rinse everything off. And I'm just doing this outside with the water hose because it is a lot less messy to do it this way. And also the stream of water is much more powerful than that of a faucet and it really cleans the roots. I'm also making sure to spray the leaves down really good during all of this as well. Look how clean that plant is. Now I'm just taking some of the same soil that I'll be using in Cersei's tank and putting it into these little pots. We're doing this because we're not planting the plants yet and this is also going to be a way to kind of quarantine these plants to make sure that all the pesticides and everything get off of them and also to make sure there's no little critters living in there. And then just a sneak peek of kind of how we're going to set up Cersei's tank. I'm actually using Dexter's old 18 by 18 by 24 and I have it on its side and we're making some modifications to make it to where with it sitting on its side, it'll be able to hold water and it's not going to leak or anything if water gets into that drainage layer. And we're also going to put her a little pond at the back so that she can swim because we have found that she absolutely loves swimming. As always, I'm just using aquarium safe silicone and I'm going around to any and all places that could possibly leak and I'm siliconing it up and then I'm also using some plexiglass that we cut to make her a little pond and siliconing that in place and siliconing the vent in the back in place as well we have to make several modifications but this should make a very nice tank If you follow me on Twitter, I actually posted about this when it happened. A drunk driver actually plowed through our mailbox and that was our neighbor coming over to tell us what had happened. We were just really lucky that no houses were damaged. Now back to the tank. So at this point I was starting to run out of silicone. So I'm still going to have to go back and do another layer of silicone inside of this little water area. And I still have to go back and finish all the corners and do the plexiglass over the front and all of that. But this is just kind of a start and kind of giving you an idea of what this tank is going to look like and what the idea behind it will be. And that's it for this week, guys. I am super excited to get this crocodile skink tank built and done and get her all transferred over. But 
yeah, that's it. If you're not already, don't forget to follow me on my other socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put a new video, which is every Sunday slash Wednesday. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.